George Burns. Gracie Allen's husband. <laughs> For the benefit of those who've never seen me before, I'm what is known in show business as a straight man. You know what a straight man is? I'll tell you. After the comedian gets through with a joke, I look at the comedian and then I look at the audience like this. That is known as a pause. <laughs> if I must say so myself, I'm famous for my pauses. When I'm really rolling, this is one of my ad libs. <laughs> and there's another thing a straight man must know. He must repeat everything the comedian says. For instance, if Gracie should say, a funny thing happened on the streetcar today, I say, a funny thing happened on the streetcar today? Naturally, her answer gets a scream, and then I do one of my famous pauses. <laughs> uh, you know, I've been a straight man so long that from force of habit, I, uh, I repeat everything. I went out fishing with a fellow once, and he fell overboard, and he hollered, help, help, help. And I said, help, help, help. <laughs> While I was waiting for him to get his laugh, he drowned. <laughs> so you see, to be a straight man, you, you have to have a talent. You have to develop this talent. Then you got to marry her like I did. <laughs> well, now I'd like you to see where Gracie and I live. That's our uh, home. We live in Beverly Hills. That's the inside of our house. That's the outside right there. That, that hedge, Gracie planted that hedge. In the back, we have a garden. That's my Gracie. <laughs> that's my razor, too. <laughs> and that's nothing. I gotta tell you a story about her. She, uh, she was, oh, the Mortons, our neighbors, they live next door. like they've done their week's marketing. <laughs> I, uh, I don't have to tell you that they're not newlyweds. Now that you've met Gracie and the Mortons, I'd like to have you meet a fellow that's been with us for a lot of years. And I can safely say that Bill Goodwin is America's most loved announcer. Uh, well, anyway, I was telling you a story about Gracie. She was going through a 20-mile zone at about 30 miles an hour when, um, looks like he was left here by the uh, by uh, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> a book salesman. Hmm, gone up to our house? Is he silly enough to s try to sell Gracie a book? <laughs> yes, he is. If he were smart, he'd turn around and run. <laughs> you heard of that play, The Death of a Salesman. <laughs> Trying to sell something to Gracie is what killed him. <laughs> Good morning, madam. If you'll allow me two minutes, uh, What's your name? Jones. What's your first name? Charles. Well, Charlie Jones, am I glad to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> What's the idea? Well, if the neighbors see me talking to a stranger, they gossip. What? Yeah, come right in, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely home you have oh, here. thank you. Uh, madam, if you'll allow oh, me two minutes... Oh, Charlie, don't be so formal. Call me Gracie. Now, uh, sit down. Well, thank you. Ah, now, 
Tell me all about your wife and children. Well, I haven't any wife. Oh, well, then tell me about your children. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, this is Dr. Gumpert's encyclopedia, and it belongs in your home. Oh, no. If it's Dr. Gumpert's, it belongs in his home. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the name of it. I'm selling these. Oh. And a beautiful home like yours should have them. Here. Oh, my goodness, uh, nice and heavy. <laughs> As an intelligent, progressive woman, you, of course, know that Dr. Gumpert's encyclopedia is more than just the world's handiest reference guide. It's an essential part of your life, a necessity, a cultural asset that will lend dignity and distinction to your domicile. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did I, did I say something funny? Well, I don't know, but I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> Seriously, madam, look at these illustrations. Oh, yes, yes, they're very interesting. <laughs> you know, madam, these books would make a wonderful birthday present for your father there. Oh, that's not my father. Oh, the, that's my husband. Oh, forgive me. Oh, that's all right. My father wouldn't mind. <laughs> oh, although my, my father's a much younger man. Younger than your husband? Oh, yes. When I, I met my husband, he was 30. But when I met my father, he was only 24. <laughs> so, I see. Well, madam, you need these books to be well informed. You know, most people can't even remember what's in yesterday's newspaper. Oh, I do. The garbage. I wrapped it myself. <laughs> <laughs> madam, let me show you these books. Oh, no. I want to show you a couple of books. This is my very favorite. Your favorite? Mm -hmm. A report on the sheep growing industry? This is your favorite? Well, look inside. Oh, I see. There are some flowers pressed in mm -hmm. here. The first time my husband ever called on me, he brought me those. Mm, very sweet. Uh -huh. Now look at this one. Mm -hmm. This one won't open. He brought me candy, too. <laughs> Thank you very much, madam. <laughs> Goodbye, madam. It's been charming. And if I ever pass your home again, I'll make sure I do. Oh, now, that's a promise. Well, I'll show you to the door. Right this way. Well, uh, goodbye, madam. Goodbye, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there goes Mr. Jones. I don't want you to think that that happens to every salesman who talks to Gracie. Some of them have a miserable time. <laughs> and now, while the actors are trying to remember their lines for the next scene, we have a real treat for you. A great singing group. I ought to know because singing is my real racket. <laughs> and here they are, the Skylarks. <laughs> Tomorrow, smile a while today. Work is played to anyone that holds. Live today, tomorrow never comes. If you cheer up, skies will clear up, but will pass away. Save your sorrow, for tomorrow sun will shine and chase the clouds away. You'll discover this is just your day. The world will turn its bright side. The right side if you smile a while. For it's the start to smile a while today. Well, kids, I 
want to tell you that that was great. Oh, thank, thank you very much. I loved it. I loved the way you moved and I loved the way you sang. Oh, thank, thank you. you. And while I watched you, I was just thinking how much better it would be if you would add a baritone. Oh, yes. What a wonderful idea. Yes. Did uh, you ever hear me sing? Yes. yes. <laughs> I was just saying with the baritone, it would be, it would be better. Oh, yeah, be better. Mm -hmm. You heard me say. Yeah. Yes. I can keep this up as long as you can. <laughs> Mr. Burns, I don't know exactly how to say this, but we'd rather sing without you. Somebody who doesn't know how to say it, you said it fine. <laughs> but I would just like to tell you that the Merry Max just got back into town. <laughs> We just happened to think of a number we could sing with you. I knew you'd find a number. Isn't that funny? <laughs> now, what do you think we ought to do? Well, how about April, April showers? showers? That would yeah. be fine. And will you give me a little background we'll music? We'll All, right. All right, now get around me. All right. Uh, the April showers. April showers, make them your way. They bring the flowers that bloom in May. And when, and when it's, it's raining, raining, have no regrets because it isn't raining rain. You know it's raining violets. <laughs> and when you see and when you see clouds up on the hill, you see ah. see clouds of daffodils. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. So keep looking for a bluebird and listening for his song whenever April showers come along. Pretty, 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 pretty. Now back to Beverly Hills. Oh yeah, I was going to tell you a story about about but. Oh, there's Gracie now. I wonder where she's going. Oh. Going over to see Blanche Morton, I guess. just love this in our coffee. Oh, yes, carnation milk. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. But you know what puzzles me sometimes? What? How do they get milk from carnations? <laughs> um, ask George sometime. Oh, all yeah. right. Oh, here, let me help all you. All right. Oh, say, Gracie, there's a new Gregory Peck picture opening tonight. Let's go after dinner, huh? Oh, all right. I'd love them crazy about that man. Yeah. Oh, wonder what it'd be like to be married to him. I bet every woman in the country wonders that. Yeah. Too bad he is naughty, Sean. We could all find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here comes Harry. Oh. Hello there. Hello, darling. Oh, Harry. Hello, Gracie. I missed you this morning. You missed me just now, too. <laughs> well, I'm famished. Had a late breakfast now. I work all down. <laughs> Gracie, what are you doing? Well, you can't eat these peaches. It's 12 o'clock. What's that got to do with it? It says right here, should serve from 2 to 4. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll go to the hospital, Blanche. Oh, by the way, Gracie, what's wrong with Clara? Well, she's having dizzy spells. Oh, that's too bad. I've had those. Oh? Uh, 
Well, I guess I'm just lucky. I've never been dizzy. <laughs> Yeah, the water's full of them. Well, now remember, after dinner, we're all going to a movie. All right, dear. Goodbye. Goodbye, Gracie. I am not going to a... movie with Gracie. Why not? Last time we went, we had to sit through it twice. She wanted her popcorn and the picture to finish at the same time. Now, I don't want to hear any more about Gracie. Gracie. I happen to be very fond of her. Fond of her. And she's nuts about me, too. She's nuts. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> anyway, we are not going to the movie. What did you say? We're going. So we're going to the movie. <laughs> oh, Harry, you're so sweet. I could kiss you. Blanche. You won the argument. Don't rub it in. <laughs> Well, it's now three hours later. But first, I got to tell you a little story about the Mortons. You see, uh, Harry and his partner, he's in the insurance business. They, uh, oh, there's Gracie at the door. I'll be back in a minute. George, hurry up. Well, where have you been? Talking to some people. Oh, will you take this, please? Oh, my, about two dozen. Uh huh. Why, what beautiful flowers. Aren't they lovely? And if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have them. Me? Mm -hmm. What did I have to do with well, this? Well, it was your idea. You said when I went to visit Clara Bagley to take her flowers, so when she wasn't looking, I did. <laughs> Gracie. I, uh, Here, uh good... look, I, uh, I said for you to well, stop... Isn't it good that carnations there? I'll put them in the refrigerator. We'll milk them later. <laughs> we'll milk them later. Well, I guess if she made sense, I'd still be selling ties. <laughs> hello? Oh, hello, Harry. What? To the movies? But, Harry, I've got two tickets. We're going to the fights tonight. Look, look, Harry, there's someone at the door. You, you come over after dinner. I'm sure I'll be able to straighten this out. Goodbye, Harry. Oh, hello, George. Hello, Bill. Come on in. Fine, thank you. Yeah. Say, George, what happened to you? I was waiting at the Fires Club all afternoon. Oh, I couldn't make it. Well, Say, Bill, huh? I, I wonder if you'd do me a little favor. What, George? Uh, would you take Racy and Blanche Morton to a movie tonight? Gracie and Blanche? Two married women? <laughs> Gee, George, if I did that, I'd have to watch the movie. <laughs> Bill, it's, huh? it's a favor to me. No, no, I, I just couldn't, George. I, I wouldn't be fit company. I'm, I'm just a nervous wreck. What's the matter? Well, I tell you, you know that little two-seater plane of mine? The little yellow job. The little yellow job yeah. I fly? Yeah. You want to hear what happened to me? Yeah. Here's the airplane, see? Yeah. Now, look. I'm sitting at the controls this afternoon, yeah. when all of a sudden I realize I'm out of gas. Out of gas? Yeah. What'd you do? I grabbed the microphone. Yes? I grabbed the microphone and called the tower. Yeah. Tower. Yeah. Tower. 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 Yes. I said, good one to tower, good one to tower. Do you read me? Yeah. They said, tower to good one, go ahead. Well, so I said... Yes, what'd you say? Do you use carnation evaporated milk? <laughs> That's what you said. Well, yeah, every time I get near a microphone, I can't think about anything else. That carnation is so great. Do you know that Carnation Milk is the world's leading brand of evaporated milk, George? I know, but... Uh, it's the it. milk from contented cows. I know, you but... You see, Carnation plain. is just good whole milk with nothing removed but water. I know, And, George, there's nothing added but vitamin D. That's the sunshine vitamin. The sunshine vitamin. Yeah. I know. Yeah, but, and, but, and you but, see, Carnation is so rich and so creamy that you can actually use it in place of real cream. In fact, just like pure real cream, you can whip it. Are you finished? <laughs> yeah, sure. The plane ran out of gas. It did? How far did you fall? Did you hurt yourself, little pal? <laughs> it's your plane, the little yellow Oh, the little yellow, the yellow job. job. The yes. one right here. The one, yes, this right, one. Yes, yes, look. Yes. Let me tell you what happened. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now I look under the seats. Yes, yes. 
No parachute no under parachute. the sea. Up here's a mountain. I'm looking to the right, yeah. there's a mountain. I'm Inside looking to the left, the there's a big mountain up here. Out straight here, here is a big mountain 12,000 feet high. I'm out looking there, back at me, George. And, and, and pick up the and, microphone. And good with a towel. Good George, with a towel. yes? Have you got a pilot's license? No. <laughs> Just then the motor sputtered and died. <laughs> and I said to myself, I said, Bill, this is it. Or grab the microphone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Goodwin to Tower. Goodwin to Tower. Did they reach it? No, they were all busy whipping carnation evaporated milk. Well, naturally. <laughs> See, I told them it was rich. Mm. Mixed half and half with water, carnation is still richer than your state standard for whole milk. Yet, George, carnation costs far less than regular milk. Bill, unless you were killed, I don't want to hear the finish. <laughs> well, I tell you, George, the finish was nothing. I, I, I just uh, stepped down out of the plane and I walked uh, out of the hangar. You were in a hangar? Certainly, how could I take off with no gas? <laughs> Turn around and I'll show you. <laughs> That's pretty good. Well, George, I have to leave now. Okay, I'll see yeah. you. Bill, 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 Bill. What? Through the door. You got to go I out. God, I'm sorry. Amen. That's the idea. I'm sorry, George. This boy loves his carnation. Isn't that better? Better, better, yeah. <laughs> you see, we got to keep this believable. Oh, the Mortons. i got to open the door again. <laughs> well, oh, Carol, come on. Oh, George. She's dressing. Oh, excuse me. Come on, Harry. We'll go to the movie and have a nice time oh, at yeah. the movie. Oh, the movies, yeah. Mm. Well, genius, Ixnay, what do you got this? cooking? Listen, we'll tell the girls that we're all invited to Bill Goodwin's house to play a card game called Klebob. You say, Klebob? Yeah. How do you play it? Well, there's no such game. Now, the girls will tell us to play Klebob. They'll go to a movie. While they're at the movie... We go to the fights. The like fights. it very much. Fight. I like my idea. <laughs> I've yet to come up with it. Uh, yeah. Well, oh. if we're going to movies, let's get going. Huh? Oh, uh, look, girls, I just got a phone call from Bill Goodwin, and he wants us to go to his house and play a card game. It's called Klebob. Oh, well, then let's go. <laughs> do you do you know how to play Klebob? No. Oh, well, we can learn. Show sure. us. Let's put our things down, Gracie. Yeah, show us. Sure. <laughs> Houdini? <laughs> See you get out of this one. Harry, we will make up a game that will drive them crazy. I'm with you. Get the chance. Blanche! Come on, we're gonna play cards. I'll get the game. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll get the... Uh, Don't need this. Uh, Just straighten out the table, darling. Up there. Get Blanche's chair. Oh, right, now, right, now, Blanche, you're gonna keep score. Oh, I'm no, 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 Gracie, you stand back a minute. Oh. And the Nash play, please. Oh, all right. That's it. Keep score. Mark down George and Harry. George and Harry. Oh. we're playing? This is a wonderful game. How many Harry and George. Nine, nine I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Used to play it in Altoona. Altoona, oh. remember? Have you got George? Harry and George? I have Harry, Put down and, Harry George. and George. Nine cards. Nine cards. Harry now, and George, you got there? One, two, I three. Got it. One, two, three. Harry and George. One, two, three. One, two, three. We can learn to play it at night sometime yeah. on Radio Night. This is a real easy game. <laughs> now, Gracie, watch it play. Harry and George, you got? Here we go. Uh, Moolah. Klitsch. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, you lucky boy, it's your lead. <laughs> Five of clubs. Eight of spades, I dribble, give me 1,400 points. 1,400 points? I dribble. <laughs> the man dribbled, he gets 1,400 points. <laughs> King of clubs. The revolving queen. <laughs> uh, Take off 900 points. Please. 900. Have, uh, have you got the four diamonds? Four. No. Make that 800 points, please. 800, 800, 800 and 14. 14. Right. <laughs> Nine of clubs. Five of diamonds. Three of hearts. Eight of hearts. Broadway, give me 2,000 points. <laughs> 2,000 points. That's right. Harry, you're very stupid at this game. <laughs> Stupid, am I? <laughs> All right, George. Play around with this. Mumperts. 
Mumford's. <laughs> and in diamonds yeah. yet. <laughs> well, that's hard to match. Well... <laughs> Deuce of diamonds. Clee Bob. <laughs> Give me 20,000. He points. wins the game, Harry wins. Oh, now wait just one minute. You lose, you renege. He reneged? Yes, you forgot to mention the spinning jack. <laughs> the spinning jack. Gracie, I'd like to talk to you. <laughs> Do you, do you know how to play Klee Bob? Yes, it's just like Mogul. <laughs> mogul? What is Mogul? Well, don't you remember last week when you wanted to go to the ball game? <laughs> you, you taught me how to play Mogul. <laughs> Where do you want to go tonight, dear? <laughs> to see Gregory Peck, we're going to see a picture oh. show. Let's go to the picture. <laughs> Bill Goodwin again to tell you that George and Gracie will be back with us in just a moment. A moment. On behalf of George and Gracie and all of us in the show, I want to say how happy we are to be officially a part of the great Carnation family. We're proud to be associated with the company that has been a leader in raising American dairy standards with the evaporated milk that is the world's leading brand. Most of us in the show were Carnation babies and have raised our own children on Carnation milk. Not only George and Gracie, but all of us use Carnation milk in our homes every day. And we're sure you'll like Carnation, too. So I hope that when you buy evaporated milk for infant feeding, for cooking, or for creaming coffee, you'll remember to ask for Carnation, the milk from contented cows. And now here are Carnation's own George Burns and Gracie Allen. <laughs> I want to tell you, I want to tell you that Gracie and I are thrilled to be on television, and we're very happy to be associated with Carnation Milk, a product that we've enjoyed and used for years. Uh, and isn't it good we have Carnations like this? We'll never run out of milk now, huh? That's right, Gracie. Say good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcast.